Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to download games on your calculator. So yeah, if you didn't already know, you heard me correctly. You can actually download and play games on your calculator. So yeah, if you get bored in class, it's always a good thing to, you know, have something to play on. So if this video does do want to help you, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel down below. And yeah, this is actually quite easy. It's probably easier than you'd think to download these games on this. You don't need to know like any code or anything, so make sure to stay tuned to the end. I will be answering any questions you guys have in the comments down below. So if you do go on to have a question, make sure to comment down below, and I will be responding to all of them. All right, so all you're gonna need for this is your calculator, your charging cable, and then any sort of computer with a USB port so you can plug this, your uh, charging cable into the computer and into the All right, so we'll switch over to a screen recording to show you the software and stuff you need to download. So to get started, what you're going to want to do is head over to Safari or whatever browser you use. You can use Google Chrome or Firefox or anything, anything of the above. But I usually just use Safari because I'm on a Mac. And what you're going to want to look up is TI-84 Plus Software. So look that up into the search bar. And what you're going to want to do is click on this one right here. The second, the second one that pops up that says TI Connect CE Software for the TI-84 Plus family. It will take you to this website and you can trust it because it's the Texas Instruments website. So it's completely safe. It won't do viruses or anything. And what you're going to want to do from here is go over to download. Click on that. And it's going to bring you to this page right here. So for me, I'm on a Mac. So I'm going to download the Macintosh version of the software. If you're on Windows, uh, you can download the Windows version. So yeah, what you just wanna do is click on the software that works for your computer. It's gonna bring you to this page. For Mac, you have to let it allow it. You have to allow it to download. So you're gonna let it download. It's pretty quick to download. And just so it's, I know where it is for this video, I'm gonna take it and put it on my desktop. Okay, and now what you're gonna wanna do, you can uh, minimize your Safari or whatever your browser for now. You want to double click to open this software and on Mac what you're going to need to do is just drag it over like it says to the applications folder and you can authenticate it. I'm going to type this in real quick and then I'll be right back. Alright so now it is copying it over to the applications folder which just means that I'll be able to access it from the launch pad. It's going to pop up right there. I'm going to click on that to open it. Uh, you can just say no thanks for this. It'll open up. So when you get it first opened up it'll say connected calculators. It's going to be on this little picture icon right here on the left side. I'm actually gonna cut over to my GoPro and show you what I'm doing, just so you don't get lost and you know what to do for every step. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do from here is you're gonna take your calculator, like this, or you can leave it in, whichever, and I I would turn it on if I were you, make sure it's on, and for what you're gonna wanna do from here, you're gonna plug your charger into the USB in your computer, and you're gonna plug the other side of your charger into your calculator. That side in there, this side right here, so it should just pop up right here as a connected calculator. If it does not, just unplug it and replug it back in and turn it off and turn it back on until it shows up as a connected calculator. All right, now I'm gonna cut back to the uh, screen recording. Okay, so from here, what you don't wanna do is you wanna click on the, the three pages on the left side once you have your calculator connected and selected. This is just the files that run your calculator usually. So basically to play a game, you're just gonna add to these files. So what you're gonna do from here is open back up your browser. You wanna look up games. You want to look up the games for TI-84 plus CE. And any of these links usually work. So this is going to pop you up with a list of games that you can play, you can download. Just for this uh, video, I'm going to download one that I don't already have. So I'm going to download Fall Down right here. So any of the games is the same. You want to click Allow. It'll start to download the game. Once it's downloaded, you're going to drag it over to your desktop or whatever. It's going to be in this folder. So it's pretty simple from here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take the game folder, open it up. You're gonna select all the files inside of the folder and drag them over to this and just drop it anywhere on this list of files. So once you drop it onto here, it'll say, it'll give you this page and don't mess with anything up here. All you have to do is click send. If a thing pops up like this, which it sometimes won't and sometimes will, which says something is already here, just for all the files, just click replace. Just keep clicking replace until all six or however many files download. And from here, it's the game is already on your calculator, so I'm going to cut back. So I'm going to cut back to the GoPro to show you how to open the game and how to play it, and uh, so on. Alright, so once you've done this, the game is already downloaded on your calculator. It was about, It's pretty simple, it's pretty quick, it's pretty easy. So from here, what you want to do is you can, you can unplug your calculator, because you already have the game that you want downloaded. And to open up the game, you're going to want to press second, zero, scroll down to the one that says ASM with a parenthesis, press enter, program, 
and this will pull up a list of games that you have downloaded. So, so these are all the ones that I have downloaded. It's like Geometry Dash and Flappy Bird and so on. The one I just downloaded was called Fall Down. So you just want to click on the game, press enter again, and it'll open the game. So yeah, you can, like, it's basically just a little Game Boy, but it's on a calculator. I don't know, it's pretty cool to use. So like, and once you want to get out of the game, you can usually just press quit, clear, or in some cases it's a different thing, but usually you just press mode, and it'll take you out of the game, you just press clear. And yeah, so then, that, so yeah, that's how you open the game, that's how you play the game, that's how you close the game. It's actually quite simple, which some of you might not have expected. But yeah, so that is how you download and play games on your calculator. It sounds pretty nerdy, I know, but it's actually comes in, comes in handy when you get bored in class. So yeah, you can download any game from any of those websites as long as you just follow the steps and drag it into the calculator software. If you guys do don't want to run into any problems, however, make sure to drop them in the comments down below. I will be replying to all of them to make sure you guys all understand clearly on how to download these games and play them. Oh, and one more thing to note is these games are not on your calculator permanently. If you do go on to clear your RAM for a test or something, the games will delete off your calculator, but all you're gonna have to do is go back in and re-download them. So just try to avoid clearing your RAM. And also sometimes the game crashes, the calculator will clear the memory from it, which just means the game deletes itself and it deletes all the rest of the games. So all you're gonna, all you're gonna wanna do is uh, just go back and follow these steps again and re-download the game. So yeah, if this helped or if you guys did don't enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. Peace.